Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole Sag. This is going to be your weekly December 11th through December 17th reading. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and your Venus cross watchers. Welcome. Reverse the roles as need be. Quick thank you to everybody who has supported, liked, subscribed, shared, commented to the channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you, those who have donated and booked personal readings as well. Thank you so very much for all again, of the ways that you support the channel and myself. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Sag, um, let's just get right to it here. So I heard from Spirit, if fire was tranquility, and it was a really odd message to me, but at the same time, I also, it sent me to this, this thought process of um, you really embracing your fire energy today, being the new moon in, in you know, moving into the new moon in um, Sagittarius. And I keep wanting to say Gemini. Gosh, I've done this every reading. Um, you really could be embracing that fire energy. But I kind of feel like for some of you, well, I'm going to say for all of you, depending on how you're channeling that fire energy is kind of what I want to say to you. It's some of you I feel like are dealing with um, maybe some underlying energy of a little bit of resentment that could be fueling your desire to move on and move forward to manifest new things. Others of you, um, I feel like you're just, you know, embodying the get up and go. So, Sag, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know what to, what to quite make of... Uh, the energy that I'm picking up on for you guys. Not quite yet. So, and then as I say that, I look at the bottom of the deck efficiency. That, that get up and go, um, ready but waiting, sitting there, fortitude being in the reverse. So uh, let's let's roll with it and see what, uh, huh, ready but waiting comes out sideways. The fortitude still laying on the bottom there in the reverse position. <sighs> Watch burning the candle at both ends this week, Sag. I kind of feel like it's all or nothing, here and now, productivity. What are you, oh, wait, an absence. Oh, Saggy, what is happening? All these readings have been pretty stellar. And I'm not saying that this isn't stellar for you guys, but it's kind of like, you could be waiting on somebody else to start the get up and go process. And, oh, Sag, this is your season. It is your birthday season. What are you doing? <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. Um, goodness gracious. I, I feel like for some of you, you could be waiting or sitting back sidelined somehow watching other people make progress kind of waiting to make your moves based upon the moves that others are making so you could be very much in this space of observance um watching something else happen behind the scenes for somebody else it's it's weird it's kind of like you're taking a back seat like you you know wanting to get up and get moving going some of you are you've got the get up and go but it's like are you making movements and with that ready but waiting coming out sideways i think that some of you are going Others of you, um, I don't think you're making that movement yet. Spirit is saying that some of you could be waiting to the end of the year. It's kind of like, oh, new year, new me kind of vibe. But Sag, right now, harness the power of this new moon in your sign. Um, this is a new beginning, right? Your, your solar return, it's your new beginning, your new rebirth, your new way of doing things. I think for some of you too, um, you may not be counting on somebody else to be there, like waiting for something to happen. Don't, don't expect the worst is what I'm going to say to you. Don't expect the other shoe to drop, Sag. This is kind of how this feels to me. Uh, you could feel like somebody has also distanced, and as I pick up the deck, the Two of Cups is underneath there. Um, you may feel like somebody else has distanced themselves from you for some reason. I would say if they have, they need a timeout. They need to get some things in order. It's Don't take it personally. One of the four agreements. Don't take it personally. Okay, but don't hold yourself up in this limbo 
waiting on somebody else to make a move. You do what you got to do for you in the meantime, okay? And then everything else will fall accordingly. So let's see, Sag, what's happening here? Wheel of... <clears throat> the Five of Swords keeps showing itself today as well. Wheel of Fortune. Understand, Spirit is saying, understand that your misfortunes from the past were just a way to move you forward. Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor. The Five of Swords, it's done and over with. Um... Take your place and take what rightfully belongs to you to move on into this new beginning. There's some things I feel like, Sag, you need to leave in the past. Um, they're not for you. They're not of you is what Spirit is giving me. So let's see. This could be like a clearing out of old connections as well is how this feels. You know, what do you want your connections to look like? The two of pentacles coming out in a sideways position. Oh, Two of Cups coming out in the reverse. It flipped out in the reverse position. Um, the Devil Energy. Oh, Sagittarius, what in the hell are you all... What do you got going on? Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Emperor. I just heard Saving Grace. This, I'm going to clarify before I go spewing off at the mouth here. Um... There's a lot of two of swords kind of energy, indecision, uh, and as I, as I say that, right, there is the two of swords, go figure. I'm thinking about that five of swords I've seen, the seven of swords, there's always like two left behind. And then you've got these two people with this absence card, two people being left behind. They're missing, it's like missing in action, something is missing here, Sag. Um, in this indecision, this two of swords, it's a crossroads kind of energy. I said there might be some kind of resentment here. This is kind of what I'm feeling again. Um, Sag, before you make moves forward, make sure you know where the hell you're going. It's like, and I, I used this example, I think, last week. It's like driving a car at night with no headlights on. You cannot see where the hell you're going to whatsoever. Kind of feel like you threw, part of you wanted to throw everything into one thing, if that, if that makes sense. These twos, lots and lots of twos. Um, you're, you're not picking a straight direction right now. You may not know where you're going. You may not feel like you have the foresight of understanding what is coming, where you're headed, where people around you are headed. Stop worrying about, and, and, you know, and I'm looking at this too, you've got two people chained to the devil. Is this toxic? Is this codependent? Is something lacking? It feels like a sense of lack somehow or waiting, a period of waiting. Um, Saggy, what the hell is going on? All right, let's see. Sag, don't, and I'm gonna say separate of that, don't bail out on yourself. Like, don't check out because you don't think it's going to work out the way you want it to work out. Um, it's like you continue to weigh your options, whether it's love, work, yourself. Um, there, there's so many, like, one or the other, one or the other. I got this in your Sag card. I got it in this productivity card. You've got the two of pentacles. I talked about that five of swords with just the two swords remaining in the background. The two of cups. The devil's got two. I'm seeing this, this, these hands in this is the same thing. It's like self-preservation mode, putting yourself on lockdown, the two there. And then you've got the two of swords sitting in the background of the seven of swords. A, a lot of this back and forth <clears throat> kind of thing, and it's like, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? I feel like I'm watching Fred Sanford. Like, is this the big one? Is this, is this it? Is this it? Is, it's like you're waiting for a moment to happen that I feel like you're on edge about and it hasn't even happened. Are you making things up as you go? Are you not based at spirit saying based in reality? Are you holding on to a thought process from the past? Um, <clears throat> 
sad. You guys should be in a better space than this. There you are, birthday season, right? It's your birthday time. Like, stop chasing down. Um, it's almost like you're chasing down something that doesn't exist. Is it like a ghost of the past? Is it something that is, is over with? Is it done? Because it's like you're chasing after things that are spirit. Again, it's re reuse this line time and again. It's not of you. What are you doing? Nobody is taking from you anymore, spirit said. No one is taking from you or of you anymore. I just want to go, what are you doing? What? Like, what is this two of pentacles for Sag? December 11th through the 7th. I just said no one's taking from you anymore. What comes out? The five of pentacles, the six of pentacles. It, want, it came out somewhat upright, and I'm going to take it and read it that way. But it's like where you have lacked before, somebody is equally giving here. And it may not be, and you may feel this way, because it could be a tangible aspect of you. Like that, are they giving back the same way I'm giving, or am I giving the same way they are giving back? Understand that it's not, it doesn't have to be in the same form, okay? So like, um, I'm trying to think of a good example to use to give you guys. Maybe you give emotionally and they give tangibly or vice versa. I don't, you know, it's like the way that it's being given may not be the way that it's being reciprocated, but it's still reciprocation. I hope that's making sense. Um, but it's like Ten of Cups. Sad, you're, mi you're missing the emotional cue. You're missing, it's like, you know, I just said too, as I'm thinking about this. Okay. I got you now, Spirit. I just said they could be giving tangibly, you could be giving emotionally, vice versa. Do you see this? The Five of Pentacles, feeling like we're not getting enough or giving enough. The Ten of Cups. Somebody's giving emotionally, somebody's giving tangibly. It equals reciprocation in the dead center. Six of Pentacles. Do you see that? It balances out. It's equating. And then you've got this Two of Pentacles. And I feel like, Sad, you're trying to understand this Two of Pentacles in the sideways position. Because you've got the Ten of Wands and the Emperor that says, it's got to be on my terms. It's the only way. It's the only way this makes sense to me. A need of a change of perspective, Sag. Um, it's not the only way. Two of Cups. I'm seeing this, um, I can't ever remember what it's called. I know this, I spent years in the medical field and can't remember, it's horrible. The sign for, for medical healing, right? There's a lack of healing in this Two of Cups energy. It's like, Sag, it's either you or the person you're dealing with doesn't understand this. Why? I don't really know. You, you could just be on very different wavelengths with a person. But there's a need for healing here. Maybe it's physical healing of yourself or your body as well as that person, you could be mirroring each other when it comes to um, patterns, habits, addictions as well. But it's like, what can I get away with? You're drawing me back to that Seven of Swords. What is this Two of Cups? The Emperor. Ten of Swords comes out sideways. Magician just tried to show itself. What is cheese and crackers? I'm going to sit these off to the side. I don't like the way those came out with that. I feel like it's separate. All right. The Emperor, the Ten of Swords, the Hermit. I just said about perspective. Bingo. There's the hangman. Um, Sag. Mars, Aries. Fire, war. I, I just, fear just said you're at war with yourself over this. It's like you don't know what to do completely at a loss not understanding how you move on and move forward there there's so much to this that it's like
Spirit, Spirit just said this is your cue to figure it out. You could be dealing with an Aries. It does not have to be. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo. Does not have to be. But something, I'm going to go back to say something happened in September. And that was the moment, Sag, that you were supposed to start to figure whatever this is out. And for whatever reason, it's coming in. And with this new moon, I'm going to say do over. It's time to change this. Like if you want your world to look a certain way, what are you doing to make it look that way? What what action are you taking to drive this forward? Like you're ready, ready, ready. Yeah, I'm all right. Ready but waiting. Like what are you waiting on? Stop waiting on the external world to change before you change and work on you. There, there is a longing in the heart space. And it's like, this could be stuff that for the last 10, 15, 20 years has plagued you. Whether this is health, weight, drinking, thought patterns, all of these things. And it's like, it feels like it's weighing you down, waiting on the external. Like nothing outside of you is going to change what's within you. You have to be those changes. And it's like, you could be hanging on to a sense of control from past hurts, from betrayal, from shit that went sideways. Maybe you feel like somebody has betrayed you in some sort of way by the purpose of their own healing. You know, it's like, did they forget about me? Have they left me out to hang and dry? Like, fine, then I'm just going to sit here and be. I'm just going to sit here and seethe and brood and, and, and fester. And if this isn't you, Sag, then it's the other side. Strength, the world, the four of wands in reverse. Spirit said this is the energy that it's like you keep replaying in your head. To give, to not to give, to close it out because it's like this four of wands in the reverse, there is no celebration. It's like, what is there to celebrate? How does this benefit me? What? Sedge, there's something happening here, and I'm not real sure how to put this into words, to be honest with you, where it's like there's a control mechanism in this in regards to what sits in the back of the brain. What is laying in the back of your head that every time you see something or hear something or something that might trigger you a little bit, that sends you back into the spiral. There is just no freaking way that this would work. For so long as you're in that mindset, no, it won't work. It can't work if you're not willing to put the work in, right? We can only manifest to a certain point and then we need spirit to jump in and then we need to do the work. There's a lot of, a lot of little stories here. Um, we're already 18 minutes into this. I don't want to go too, too far. Too, too, not too deep into this. Said you could be dealing with somebody who has, this could be you, health ailments going on right now. They need some time to heal and replenish themselves. This devil, queen of cups, eight of pentacles, three of swords on the bottom. What is this devil for Sag this week? given me everything for you guys holy the empress has showed up this is you guys with the fourth um sign i've done for the weekly the empress has showed up in every single one this could be birth this could be creation you could be afraid oh you could be afraid of being tied down to something um the death card holy shit Sad. there you are sag two of wands what are you waiting on Sagi, it's like you're playing out something in your head that hasn't even happened. You could be like <clears throat> rehearsing, protecting yourself, trying to draw clothes to something. Like It's like you're having a panic attack. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces energy. Could be Scorpio, doesn't have to be. The Empress, Taurus, Libra, the Death card, absolutely Scorpio there. The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Again, definitely a lot of water energy here. King of Wands, there you are. You, waiting. 
waiting, wanting to get up and go, leave, make plans to, to go somewhere, do something. It's like getting the hell out of Dodge. This absence, you wanting maybe to check out. You're, it's like, am I going to be disappointed from this? Did what I do make a splash in all the wrong ways? What are you fearful of? There's, there's a lot of fear surrounding this. What is this death card? Knight of Cups. So you gave love. You, you showed some kind of affection, attention to something. And now you're like, did I do the right thing? Keeping eyes on something. You know, stressing out, researching, reading online. Feeling like you're walking on eggshells right now. This, this page of swords on her tiptoes is kind of giving me the same vibes as the seven of swords. Oh, and P.S., Six of Pentacles is back behind that too. Sag, I'm going to be straight with you. Whatever you're you're in the space of being in fear of, um, I say this in the most loving way. I think this is an overreaction. You're overreacting. I think that you're being spirit is moving you into a space of a new beginning. And you're so damn afraid of the past playing itself back out again. Don't create that illusion. Because this is not what you've been brought to this point to do. It's not going to be the same. Only, only if you allow it to be that way. You're not working from an experience anymore. But it's like... Have I made the right choices? Should I have done this? Could I have done that? Would that make a difference? Whatever is meant to be is always going to be regardless of what you do. What is meant for you is coming one way or another. You know, so it's like, face this in a fearless manner, whatever this is for you. Don't, whatever you're having a panic attack over, don't. You're letting your fears in your mind run away with you. It's like you're like, worst nightmare realized. No. Don't, you know, it's like, you know, I talked about those health elements. It's like getting on WebMD and going, I'm going to play doctor. Worst possible thing we can do for ourselves. We have an ache or a pain. We look it up and all of a sudden every single person in the world is dying. It's, it's an over-analysis. It's conjuring up the worst possible scenario. I'm going to say to you, what if it all works out? What if it's transformation? What if this is going to change your life? What if it sends you into a whole new way of being, oh, what, you're not comfortable anymore, so, oh, shit, we can't do that? Satch, come on. What's the advice here for Sagittarius spirit this week? Birds of a feather. You've got support around you. You've got what you need. On all, it's very, all different levels. What is it that you're afraid of? It's like, ah, uh, you just stay there. I'm going to stay over here. What are you keeping a distance for? Advice for Sag this week, Spirit. Advice for Sagittarius. For Sag. I have like no grip on my fingers to so shuffle the cards. <laughs> Advice for Sag. Make a wish upon a star. Oh, a tall tale. Your brain is like, it's like your brain is lying to you right now. You're ignoring the years of experience and wisdom. You've done some healing. This is not the same. Stop having a panic attack. I feel like I'm need to reiterate that. Wish upon a star and broken open come out in the reverse. I just heard this is not what I wanted. What did you want? I don't think spirit is going, whatever is happening for you, Sag, in the coming weeks, I feel like this week is all about the anxiety of something that hasn't even happened yet. 
playing out falsified scenarios. And you're allowing that to shut you back down from seeing the possibilities that come beyond whatever it is your mind is making up. Um, I just heard too from Spirit that you feel this is going to influence your life. What if it's the best influence ever in your life? Are you afraid to have to put the work in? That's what this feels like to me. Scared to death that everything is going to change and you're going to have to make movement. You've gotten complacent. You've gotten comfortable. You like the way things are. Something is shifting. Understand that your rebirth, your solar return is a marker for new beginnings. You have no other choice but then to start anew. Start setting goals. Get to it. Take action towards it. And I feel like, again, this reaction is like, Oh my gosh, I'm just going to shut down and tune out and, and lose my mind. Stop it. Sag, spend this week manifesting what you want and stop worrying about the things that haven't happened yet. Stop living in that futuristic tense um, because it's, it's like it's, it's not even real. It's, it feels almost like made up to me. And I'm not saying that you guys are delusional, so please don't mistake that 2626 on the clock. I don't think you guys are crazy and delusional. I think that you just have this worry, this anxiety of the future when the future hasn't even been determined yet in your physical world. You don't even see it yet. This is a complete new way of being. Get on board. All right, Saj. Whew, goodness. I'm going to leave it there. You found that hopefully this helped you. Hopefully this helps you understand like that whatever you're concerned or worried about is not necessary. Okay. If uh, you, if this resonated, like, share, subscribe, comment, personal reads are open and available this week. Information is in the description box below about section of the page and holisticallyzenwv.com. Sending you guys much love. Take care of yourselves and relax. Bye.